Good morning and welcome to today's story time with Mr. Limada. And yes, we have Abello, the adventurous advark, written by Mbonabi Thomas. And of course, illustrations by Cherise Harris. And today we just started off a little bit early so we could give people a chance to find the link and get situated and get ready for part two of Abello, the adventurous advert. Good morning to you and welcome. So glad you could join us this morning. Yes, good morning to you. Please let us know where you're joining from and who is joining in with you. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey. And do remember that you can find Storytime right here on Facebook Live, 10.30 Pacific Time every weekday, but also the recording are ready after and then on our Instagram and also our YouTube channel so do join us on all those platforms thank you so much for joining us this morning and good morning to you yes like I said we're here a little bit early today so we could give chance for people to find the link and join in for story time good morning to you thank you so much for joining us one more time yes Sheba Chanda how are you doing today good evening to you thank you so much for joining us I am glad you are here right now with us thank you so much for joining in and good morning yes how are you doing Amos Nguluwe my friend how are you doing Good to see you, my brother. Much appreciated seeing you out there. Thank you so much. I hope you are having yourself a lovely, lovely day. Thank you so much for joining in. And good morning to you, Naima. Good morning to you, Nia. And of course, good morning to you, Cairo. Thank you so much for joining us one more time. Thank you. Bonavi Thomas, how are you doing? Yes, thank you so much. I am glad you're here. The link will be on the page so people can share and join in. We're starting a little early so people can find the link and join in thank you so much and good morning to you Liseli good morning to you Adi and of course good morning to you Callan how are you doing today thank you so much for joining in yes thank you thank you thank you good morning to you Tudor and Madalena so glad you could join us today how are you doing thank you so much for joining us good morning to you rain and good morning to you rachel and welcome to story time yes thank you so much for joining us today good morning good morning to you audi from atlanta how are you doing and nathaniel so glad you could join us today thank you so much and welcome and i hope you are ready for part two of abello the adventurous advac yes Good morning to you. And that one is written by Bonabi Thomas. Good morning, everybody. Olive Oil, how are you doing today? So glad you are here. Good morning to you. And good morning to you, David. Good morning to you, Katie. Good morning to you, Abby. And of course, good morning to you, Patrick. How are you doing? Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning to you, Cynthia. And of course, you're joining in with Elias and Sue in the Laurel District right here in Auckland. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> oh, Thania Thomas is hey, my mom is Monabi Thomas. Oh, good to know. I did not know that. Well, good morning to you as well. Glad to meet you. Thank you so much. Yes. Oh, good to meet you, Thania. Thank you so much for joining us. Harmony Beth, how are you doing? Good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, good morning to you, Kate. And of course, good morning to you, Adelaide, right here in Auckland. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Isabella, Luis, and Leslie, how are you doing today? And good morning to you, Danny. Thank you for joining us. Vene, how are you doing? Yes, 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 we are here. <laughs> you are joining in with family out in Kalulushi in Zambia. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, the home of the Kalulushi Modern Stars. Good morning to you. How are you doing? Thank you so much. Annabelle and Parker joining us from San Francisco. I am glad you are here. Maya and Raven, good morning to you. Emerson in the house. Yes, good morning. Good morning to you, Ellen. Yes. Oh, you sound ready for part two. Yes. <laughs> so glad you're here, Ellen. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see everybody out there. Yes. Join in and get ready for Abelo, the adventurous advert written by Bonabi Thomas and illustrated by Cherise Harris. Thank you so much for joining us for that one. Good morning to you, Miss Samia. How are you doing? Thank you so much. Yes, you are very welcome this morning, Miss Samia. Thank you for joining us. 
Sheba, you're joining in with Benjamin in Lusaka. Yes, thank you so much for letting me know. Yes, thanks for the reminder. Much appreciated. Luis, Leslie, and Isabella, one more time. Bonabi joining in with Liseli. Jerry, Kellen, Adi. Yes, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good morning to you, Christine, and you're joining in with Liam in San Clemente. How are you doing? Anders and Ingrid, how are you doing today? Callan Thomas, how are you doing? Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, I see you, my brother, I see you. Good morning, good evening, wherever you are, how are you doing? Jessica and Desmond in Gilroy, how are you? And welcome to Storytime today. Yes, good to see you. Olive oil, one more time, how are you doing? Wyatt in Auckland, good morning and welcome to Storytime. Yes, good morning to you. Donna Every, how are you doing? And you are joining in from Barbados. How are you doing? Yes. Oh, bring some of that island goodness to me. Thank you so much. Good morning to you. And uh, good morning. So, joining in with Rocco and Clay out in LBC, Long Beach, California. How are you doing? Good to see you with us. Thank you so much for joining in. And from New Hampshire, Wendy. Wendy, how are you doing? Good to see you with us. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, Stephanie joining in with Ty from Sunshiny Los Angeles. How are you doing? Oh, I am glad you're enjoying the sun. It's supposed to be very hot today in Auckland, so we'll see how that goes. It'll probably just be good to stay indoors. Good morning to you, Lacey. How are you doing? Good morning to you, Veronica. Good morning to you, Zayana. How are you? Good to see you. Glad you joined us. Good morning to you, Maya and Raven. One more time. Much appreciated. Yes. Good morning to you, Pauline, joining us with Micah in San Francisco. How are you? So glad you're joining us. Yes, good morning. Alice Lungowalia, how are you doing, my sister? Good to see you. And yes, I am glad you are here with us. Please remind me who is joining in with you, Alice. Thank you so much. Good morning to you, Kayla from Kalulushi. How are you? And you're joining in with Vene Mutondo. Yes. Good morning, good morning to you. White Sun Chavula, join Mono, Lee, Violet, and Natasha. How are you doing today? Good morning to you. Alice Lungu, thank you for that. You are joining in with Bella and Chiti. How are you doing? Yes, good morning to you. And of course, how are you from Geneva? Pamela, how are you? Doing. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, I am so glad we have everybody out with but before we go into our story, we're just going to, of course, just talk about a few things about Zambia, my beloved homeland. Yes, and everybody who's joining in from Zambia today, a big, big welcome to you. And yes, let us just share a few things. Of course, yesterday we talked about the mighty, most Victoria Falls, as it is known, um, that it is one of the seven natural wonders of the world. And also it is the largest sheet of falling water in the world. Yes, and our currency is called the Kwacha and the subunit is the Ngwe. Together, it means a bright new dawn. Yes, a bright new dawn of independence came to Zambia in 1964. So that's what it means. The Kwacha and Ngwe is the currency of Zambia. And of course, did you know Advak, like a bellow, appears on the old 1000 kwacha note in Zambia. So look it up, you will see the advac on that um, uh, piece of currency. Yes, so that's just a little bit about Zambia. But now we get back to Abello and find out on his adventure what he is up to. Remember yesterday we left off when Abello was begging his mom so that she could take him out to explore during the day. And of course his mom is worried, but let's see what happens. They get advice from wise old Mr. Mundo, who gives good advice and a map and everything for them to go and explore. So let's find out what happens. Yes. So we're just going to go back a few sentences and get started, and then we jump into our story for today. So this is where we left off. Uh, Apello with his mom just laughing at, at each other when they put on their glasses, thinking they looked funny. And then finally his mom says, All right, Abello, let us go to sleep. 
We have a long day tomorrow, said Mama. For the first time ever, they would have to go to sleep in the night. Whoa. Abello was up long before sunrise and ready to go on his outing. With his special glasses on, he watched in awe as the big yellow sun rose over the valley, ushering in the cheerful noises and beautiful colors of a new day. It was magical. Mama soon joined him with her basket and off they went. Following Mr. Mundo's map, their first stop was by the hippopotamus stand along the lush green grass patches by the Luangwa River. Mama, Mama whispered, let us stay behind those shrubs and watch them swim. It is safer. Abello wanted to run and swim with the amazing creatures, but he obeyed his mama and kept very quiet. They are hippos, said mama softly, as she read from Mr. Mundo's map. Mama continued, they are great swimmers and spend most of the day in the river. They only come on land to eat and sleep. And those monstrous looking creatures over there on the banks of the river are crocodiles. They are very dangerous. We should keep our distance, Abello nodded quietly, but he was not afraid. Can you see those huge majestic animals, asked Mama. They are called elephants, Mr. Mundo said, Mr. Mundo said and she was suddenly interrupted by something. What could it be? What could it be? Hello there, my name is Himondo. <laughs> she giggled. Abello and Mama jumped up in fear. Abello ran and hid behind his mother. But Mother was soon relieved as she realized that it was only a harmless baby hippo. Sorry I startled you. I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I just came to play. This is my special hiding spot, giggled Himondo. She had the most beautiful smile and such a happy voice that Abello wanted to run off with her and play. Can he come and play with me? <laughs> Himondo asked in the happiest voice Abello had ever heard. Abello looked to his mother for permission and noticed she also liked the happy hippo. Oh, but don't go too far. I will be right here watching you, said Mama. Thanks, Mama. I love you. You're the best, Mama. You're the best Mama ever, he hugged her. Mama smiled. She could hardly believe what she heard. Was this her bellow? She beamed with joy and pride. <laughs> what is your name? <laughs> Asked Himondo. My name is Abello, he said. That is a beautiful name, she beamed. Thanks, said Abello with a smile. That was the first time that Abello had ever smiled, and he felt a warm feeling in his little heart. So he smiled again and again. Aww. Uh, 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 Himondo, what is that? asked Abello with excitement. It is so beautiful. It is a butterfly. What? Have you never ever seen one? Giggled Himondo. No, Abello shook his head shyly. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Himondo, what are those? Look at their stripes. What are they? He asked. They are zebras. Abello, you have never seen zebras either? No, Abello shook his head again. He kept asking her many questions, which she happily answered and giggled in between. Aww. <laughs> whole new world for Abello. Abello froze when he first saw a giraffe. He was sure it was the tallest, most majestic and elegant creature he had ever seen. By now, Abello was so, so, so excited and so happy that he did 
a happy dance which made Himondo burst out in laughter. Abello had never felt this happy before. Himondo was having fun too. She had never met an animal like him before. Come to think of it, she actually had never seen one like him. Oh. Abello, where have you been? She asked with a sweet, innocent laugh. Underground in our barrow, answered Abello, with his head down and his shoulders slumped as he suddenly remembered that he was still an adverb. Why do you live underground, continued Imondo, still ignoring his sad face. I am an advark. We are nocturnal animals. We, so we sleep during the day and come out in the night. That is when we can see properly, he answered quietly. That is super, Bello. Is that why you have those things on your eyes? What are they? She asked a lot of questions, excited. Yes, they are glasses. I have to wear them to protect, my, to protect my eyes from the sun. Mr. Mundo, my neighbor, made them for me and my mother, he answered, this time confidently. Is he an advoc as well, she asked. Oh no, he laughed, Abello laughed. He is an owl, a bird of the night. He is a genius. Maybe he can also make you some cool sunglasses. <laughs> he mondo giggled. That would be awesome. <laughs> hey, Abello, come race me to that tree over there and back. She challenged him and off they went. They ran back and forth till they were exhausted. Let us sit down and watch the beautiful birds. They make very lovely sounds, suggested Himondo. Abello agreed. He suddenly remembered how very hungry he was. So he took out his little pouch of termites, which Mama had packed for him. He opened the pouch and the bugs quickly started to crawl out. He stuck his tongue out into the pouch and all the bugs got stuck to his long and sticky tongue. Whoa! Ah, exclaimed Himondo. That is amazing, Abello. You are so clever. Is that how you catch your food? Yeah, that's how adverts get their food. Seeing how impressed she was, he boasted. <laughs> he was, he, we use our special feet to make holes in termite mounds and then stick our tongues out to catch them. None ever get away. Wow, she exclaimed. <laughs> they spent the rest of the day talking and learning about each other's magical world. Both worlds were just as interesting and enchanting. Abello no longer felt angry or awkward. He was now proud and happy to be an advoc. Abello, Abello, it's time to go home, shouted Mama. She also had quietly enjoyed her day out, but was now exhausted. Himondo was very sad to see her friend go. He was the most interesting animal she had ever met. Hey, Abello, let's tie our tails in a friendship knot and do our happy dance, giggled Himondo. Now, that is a sight to behold. An advac and a hippo doing a happy dance with their tails tied in a friendship knot? Ha! <laughs> you would have to come to the magical Luango Valley to see this. Mama laughed and laughed as she watched the two dance happily together. She was so happy, her little Abello was no longer angry, but was now an amazingly confident and happy advac. Thanks to a very happy hippo and a very clever owl. <laughs> As they walked back home into the sunset, Abello with the biggest smile said, Mama, I am so happy that I am an advoc. It's cool to be different. Mama said, you should always be happy with being who you are and accept others as they are. Abello nodded, excited to share his day with others and eager for his next 
adventure yet. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, for joining in. That was Abello, the Adventurous Advark, part two. Yes, it is written by Bonabi Thomas and illustrations by Cherise Harris. Awesome book highlighting the beauty of the Luangwa Valley in Zambia. If you have a chance, a place you must visit. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love the book. Thank you, Mbonabi Thomas, for making the connection to Sweet Home, all the sweet memories and everything that that brings. And of course, the important message at the end that Bonabi shares and every child out there, I encourage you to keep this message in your head, keep it in your heart, that yes, you should always be happy being who you are and accept others for who they are. Ah, yes, be proud of yourself. Be proud of who you are. You are beautiful the way you are. Thank you so much, Mbonabi Thomas, for that message. And to everybody else that joined in, I am so happy that we're able to share that beautiful book together. But remember that Storytime is back tomorrow for some more. And yes, we'll be reading Interstellar Cinderella. Join us tomorrow and find out what that one is all about about. But of course, let us just see who else is here with us this morning. Thank you to everybody that joined in. How are you doing? Thank you so much. Good morning to you. Yes. Oh, so many people joining in. Good morning, Pamela Cook. Thank you so much for joining us. I am glad you are here with us and I hope you enjoyed that story, that heartwarming adventure with a bear so much. Zara from Kalulushi, thank you so much for joining in with Venem. Oh, yes, thank you so much for joining us. Donna Every, thank you so much. Yes, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Thank you so much. How are you doing? Miss Samia, thank you for joining us. I am glad you joined us this morning. Good morning to you. Kisha Bola Hines, thank you so much for joining us. And you said you joined in with... Uh, uh, whoa, you're joining in from beautiful Jamaica. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, thank you. Keisha and the children from the pediatric ward at Sir John Golding Rehab Center. Thank you so much. Well, kids, my love to you. Yes, a big, big hug to you, the kids at the uh, pediatric ward at Sir John Golding Rehab Center. Much love from Mr. Limada. I love you and thank you so much for joining on story time and I hope you enjoyed that lovely story and Keisha Bola Hines thank you so much for joining in with those kids bringing them to share this community and the love with us thank you so much good morning to you Miss Champion Tanisha how are you doing glad to see you here thank you so much Numa Jared thank you for joining us again yes great to see you thank you so much Keisha and everyone Yes, Donna says, hi, how are you doing? Kate, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hugs to Jamaica for sure. Wesley Muwo, how are you doing? And you're joining in with Marilyn S. Muwo. Thank you so much for joining us. Vene and Tamika from Zambia, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much. Yes, I am glad to see everybody. Adelaide, thank you one more time. Bonabi Thomas, you say Zara, Keller, Tamika, Baby Theo, Tabo, and your niece and nephews and nieces and nephews in Zambia. You say hi to them. Thank you so much for that. Yes. Good morning to you, Rachel Humphrey. Sheba Chanda, absolutely beautiful story. I know. Kristen DW joining us from Zambia. Thank you so much. You say you've been to Zambia. Thank you so much. Good to know. It is always good to find people that have been to the motherland. Thank you so much. And how are you doing? Yes. Good morning to you. Thank you so much. AKS in the house. Good to see you, my sister. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you to everybody that joined in. Dixon Odiambo, how are you doing? Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. I am glad you could join us this morning. Dominique, thank you so much. Good morning to you, Naima. Yes, thank you so much. Oh, what is the news when you speak to your Zambian friends? Well, Ellen, there's plenty. There's different ones. So we have different languages. We have uh, seven to nine major languages and then 72 dialects. So it just depends pops on the screen and if I know the greeting if I know the language I will be sure to say hi to them in their language and so one of those I've used is Tonga we've also used some Lozi and we've also used some Nyanja so yes 
very very rich heritage out there very many languages thank you so much santino thank you for joining us thank you thank you thank you yes please do get yourself a copy of a bello the adventurous advert from amazon thank you so much and find the link on where else on the story time page and the link to this video penelope evanson thank you so much for joining us elebedi piri thank joining us yes nicole flynn joining in with jj and frankie in lanzarat how are you doing thank you to everybody that joined in jewel morris thank you for joining us yes thank you patrick rice thank you for joining in good morning to you and nicole flynn have yourselves a lovely lovely day and of course as always much love and hugs from mr limara and i will see you in the morning bye bye